Hi everyone, Peter Luciaga, Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and I got a letter yesterday from Sensei Paul Castano, and uh, he's a school owner, and he's a member of Tom Callis' The 100, and he, uh, this is his email, I got it yesterday, about 5.30 p.m. yesterday, he says, Hi Peter, my name is Paul Castano, and I am currently a member of The 100. I was looking to develop a presentation for schools around the keep it real concept for bullying. As I was doing some research, I see you have already developed such a presentation. I am not looking for a complete script, as I feel it should have my own personality behind it, but I notice you fill a 60-minute time slot and would love to know what kind of things you do during those 60 minutes to keep the kids engaged. And so anyway, I wanted to go ahead and quickly give you guys uh, an idea of what I do. These are my notes here, and I'll share these notes with you. I have a whole outline with it. This is very brief, but I um, just want to make sure that you guys know that I want to keep it simple. Very, very easy. Again, I love what Paul says, is that you want to bring your own personality to it. And I got the idea, obviously, from some of you that are with the Gracies, and especially finding Gracie bullying, and all the work that they're doing in the community, that this is their idea. And I modeled it after Renner Gracie's and what they're doing on bullying, doing an incredible job there. I'm a member of their site and I've been doing jujitsu for about, uh, about two, two years. And I haven't got my blue belt yet, so I'm working hard at it with uh, one of our local instructors here, um, Pat Viganti. However, they have a great program. I love what they're doing. I want to model uh, what we're doing now. My whole goal was to really connect with not just what bullying is and what we can do for it, but connecting with uh, getting to the heart of it, helping people to really have compassion for each other, not only those that are being bullied, but also those that are, uh, that are the bullies. So I want to create this presentation, a show, so to speak, that I can entertain and educate, but mostly talk about having compassion. And so I like the acronym of, of REAL. Respect, educate, assist, and lead. That is your presentation. Do research on all those, which is what I did, plus with all the research that I've done over the last several years on bullying itself, knowing the laws, know what, I know in New Jersey we passed this new, um, uh, leg through legislation we have this new mandate, so I'm pretty much an expert on that. I know what the teacher's responsibilities are, or everyone that works with children within the public school system, what their responsibilities are that's been mandated. I know the reporting system, everything like that, so I pretty much an expert with all that. So so this presentation is going to share all this, but more importantly, we're going to talk about you know what a bully is, which everyone knows, but talk about respecting each other, talking about educating each other, not only the those that are being bullied, but also the audience that's there, the bullies, the teachers, the guidance counselors, the bus uh, the bus drivers, everyone and anyone, education, and then talking about how we can assist each other, assist those that are being bullied, and assist the bullied or the ones that are uh, are the bully, and then assist the teachers, assist the guidance. Counselors. It, we all need help in every single area. We can't do it alone, so we're going to talk about coming together as a group and to really look at the fact that the group, the 100% of us that are out there that represent the community, you know, a handful of those members in the community are not going to dictate what um, the safety level of our community is going to be. That means the bullies. There's only maybe 10% maybe of those that choose to uh, harass and assault others. We're not, uh, the 90% of us are not going to allow those few to dictate how we're going to feel and how we're going to, um, to, uh, to have a positive uh, and uh, safe environment. Okay, so this is what we talk about. And then we're talking about leading the way. So I have skits between that. I talk about it, and, but that's basically my outline, you know, and I have skits. I have two instructors that are coming with me. I have kids that are going to be working with me. I have t-shirts behind me. You can see the banner right over there, the bullyproof banner. I have wristbands that I made that says, keep it real. And so I hand these out. The kids ask questions. I mean, I ask questions or a kid asks questions. They'll get a, band, a wristband and I have kids working with me. They're going to have t-shirts. Where's my t-shirt? Here are the t-shirts that I had made. Okay, created my own logo. I used Photoshop to do this and uh, I had my print t-shirt printer do that. The banner was done online. I did the banner for just under, uh, I think just under $100. The t-shirts that cost $8 to make and $60 to get the, color, the uh, three colors set up. And so, uh, great. So I have my website done. Everyone goes there. So the kids ask questions. They get t-shirts, they can purchase t-shirts, and I do charge 
for this presentation. I found through all my presentations around the schools, public schools and private schools, that they saw value when I put value on it. And so I decided to do that and I'm getting more response and uh, from the schools now. And they see me not only as the karate guy, but they see me as an educator that is specializing in key areas. And so I'm an educator coming in there to speak about something that uh, that they do not know much about. And I come in as the expert. And then there's a fee. So I'm a public speaker that's an educator and that's a professional. And they're going to charge me. I charge $1,995 for the presentation. It's 60 minutes. Takes me probably, I, I, I allocate fit, about 30 minutes before and about 15 minutes to strike, to take down the set. You know, I create the setting. I create the stage. I have the banner behind me on the stage. On stage on the left, of, I have which is your stage right, stage left here. I have, let's say, lockers set up there. That's where we're going to do some skits about bullying. On the other side of the stage, stage right, which is your your left, it's going to be three chairs, and that's going to be where we're going to be doing um, other skits. And I have four skits that I'll be doing, and I have, uh, um, again, two assistants coming with me, and they're going to be paid for their time. I'm paid for my time. I have volunteer students that are going to be in the school helping me. They're going to have the t-shirts on. Any student that um, in the audience, anyone that participates gets the wristband, and they get resource site to go to, and they go to realbullyproof.com, and there I will have resources for them. They can find out about what the government is doing with the, um, the resources there, which is a fabulous website. Everyone has to be connected to that. And also, they can purchase T-shirts. They can purchase the wristbands if they want. And $5 from purchase of a T-shirt. They buy a T-shirt. It costs $19.95. And $5 of that goes to uh, Alabama, Greenboro, Alabama, with the Hero Project. And let the audience know that you know part of making a difference is not only helping each other with challenges that we have within the community, but going into communities that need our help. And so that's what I'm doing with uh, with our students, with our instructors, making a difference in the world, in a community that needs our help. So that's basically in a nutshell what I'm talking about. I hope that makes sense. But you can see my outline here. Okay, it, I just wrote it out there. And I always finish, and I'm going to finish with that chant. You know, I always tell them that, that, you know, you've got to do something. You see something happening that you know is not right. Do something. Now, what do you do? It all depends on your ability, uh, your education, and your ability to be prepared. And I love what Tom Callis says, that it's better to prepare before something happens than when it's happening or afterwards when you have to dealing with, deal with the aftermath. So do something and you know what? Guess what? In that something that's where you learn. You get better. Every time you do something you get better and better and better. And that's what I do. I learn how to do something and I just do it. And I get better every single time. My presentations are great right now and I can charge, uh, give a value to it. My uh, my obvious, my video skills, my using the technology is getting better. All this is getting better. Why? Because I do something and get out there and just do it. Every time I do it I get better. Now, if you do nothing, nothing happens. And this is what I tell my students. It's in that something that you learn. So do something. And hopefully they'll get education before that. They need help. I will, of course, I invite them to, uh, um, to ask me uh, any questions. Connect with me if they need that help. And, but the most important thing is that they keep it real. And so I'll finish off by saying, you, I'll say keep it, you say real, keep it real, keep it real, see how this goes. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Any questions, please contact me at peterlisiaga.com or email me at plisiaga at gmail.com or just Google my name. I am easy to find, and I do that on purpose.